all right ladies and gentlemen welcome back to the channel las vegas raiders minicamp day two is officially done and we've got some interesting information news notes rumors all that fun stuff for you in tonight's video uh, but real quick we have a quote here from Devontae adams on starting quarterback or i should say soon to be starting quarterback aiden o'connell you know once again the narrative all off season to any non-raiders fan is oh yeah, you know what? Maybe the Raiders do have a nice team. Maybe you got Devontae Adams, you draft Brock Bowers, you got some interesting pieces on the offensive line. Um, but first off, your defense, you know, is your defense, which you know, obviously is is wrong because the Raiders have a great defense. Uh, but who's gonna be throwing Devontae the ball? Who's gonna be throwing Brock Bowers, Jacoby Myers, Trey Tucker? Who's throwing the football to these guys? And you know, Raiders fans and Antonio Pierce himself has tried to say time and time again, well, oh. Uh, our starting quarterback is Aiden O'Connell. He's the dude. It's his job to to lose it. And, um, you know, it's just we know Gardner Minshew, Aiden O'Connell, they're split in reps. But uh, the good news is every report, every rumor I have read into is that Aiden O'Connell just looks better. And, you know, we have to keep in mind this is mini camp we're talking about. We're talking about OTAs. Um, it's hard to not look good if you're, you know, high caliber NFL ready NFL rostered QB. It's hard to not look good when it's not live football, right? Nobody's tackling anybody or anything like that. It's hard to not look good, but um, apparently Aiden O'Connell's accuracy and just his overall demeanor has improved greatly. So before we get into this quote, if you guys enjoy it, hit that like button, hit that sub button for daily Raiders content. Try and get this video to 100 likes. That would mean the absolute world to me. So this is from Nick Walters. Uh, and this is Devontae Adams on Aiden O'Connell. It's more comfortability in his own skin. He is who he is now. He's talking, talking a little shit, a little more of him and not the shell of a rookie that's what lets guys reach the next level and he's balling you can tell he's ready to go so you know obviously this is just absolutely great to hear um you know sneaky suspicion that aiden o'connell might actually be the raiders franchise qb and by franchise qb i don't mean like locked in a super bowl lock in a super bowl appearance uh, before at least his rookie contract the next couple of seasons i do think aiden o'connell is probably going to be the best bet unless obviously this season goes to complete and our chaos uh, but people just don't know Aiden O'Connell yeah he can't move well uh, but he throws a beautiful spiral and he his accuracy is just really good and you know he was a rookie thrown into the starting mix halfway through new head coach knew everything and uh yeah he did a good job in my opinion all things considered eight touchdowns zero interceptions in the final four games of the regular season uh, this is from Jesse Merrick. Raiders defensive assistant Rob Ryan said, you're going to see Kuntz take off like crazy. He's going to wear you out. Uh, we know Malcolm Kuntz broke out at the end of last season when Antonio Pierce was officially interim head coach. And, you know, we know we just still have Max Crosby and Tyree Wilson improved greatly as his rookie season continued, uh, especially in the final month of the season when he was moved to interior defensive line. But, you know, the Christian Wilkins addition is just huge because, Christian Wilkins is a rising star defensive tackle in the National Football League. And not only can he stop the run, um, but he could disrupt the quarterback and he actually also get quarterback sacks. So you can't double team Max Crosby like you maybe used to be able to one year ago. And Malcolm Kuntz, you know, just watching this dude on the film of last season, watching the dude on the film from OTAs and minicamp thus far, uh, he actually genuinely looks like a star in the making right here, right now. Uh, moving on forward, Levi Davis. Amy and said Jacorian Bennett ends Raiders day two of minicamp by picking off Gardner Minshew. MJ Devonshire picked off Aiden O'Connell a bit ago as well. Uh, Jacorian Bennett, you know, cornerback two has been a huge thing. And we know you got Brandon Fijan, you know, you have Jack Jones from last season and Jacorian Bennett. Jacorian Bennett at this time last year was also getting a ton of hype in camp. And that's actually my biggest video on my Raiders channel is, you know, who's this? Look at this secret weapon that the Raiders just drafted, and it was Jacorian Bennett. Jacorian had a really down rookie season, um, but the thought process was that if he was not ready to go, well, that's why he drafted the Cameron Richardson for long term. You know, M MJ Devonfire, M D MJ Devonshire, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But if Jacorian Bennett or none of these other cornerbacks are ready to go, the Raiders will probably pick up a veteran corner. That does not look to be the case in any way, shape, or form at this point. Corian Bennett, back-to-back -back days with an interception. Looks like he's rising the ranks. And if he's cornerback two to start the regular season, um, well, you better guess that his offseason improvements 
or his improvements from his rookie season this time last year are off the charts and uh you know i know myself along with every raiders fan watching this video right now is rooting and hopeful for jacordi and bennett so hopefully he continues this great start through the end of mini camp and into training camp and ultimately into the regular season uh, this is from Vic Tafer. Raiders offensive line coach James Craig said that they moved Dylan Parham to the right side because we're going to run more wide zone. And he, to me, is more natural on that side. His footwork is better. Uh, I like this a lot. JPJ moving to left guard, le you know, left tackle Colton Miller. Uh, Dylan Parham at right guard in his rookie season a couple of years ago. The dude looked like a future stud in the NFL. And just due to injuries last year, he was moved to left guard. And I think he did a perfectly fine job. But they're really loading up this left side with Colton Miller and JPJ long term. That group looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but this is, once again, just pointing towards the Raiders' evaluation with their offensive line. They want dudes who are versatile. And that's exactly what they got in JPJ. Um, finally, or one more. Cadillac Williams, phenomenal name. That's the Raiders running back coach on rookie Dylan Labbe. He really ta he takes what he learns in the classroom and applies it on the field. Really good hands, quick, explosive. We've talked time and time again about Dylan on this channel. You know, it reminds you of a young Christian McCaffrey, uh, just drafted in completely different rounds. Uh, but nonetheless, you know, the Raiders running back room, Zamir White, a lot of question marks there because the sample size we have of him, like folks, are there. Like just keeping it a buck with you guys, the first 12 weeks of the regular season, the first 14 weeks of the regular season, it was Amir White's sophomore campaign. I, pretty much everybody expected him to be cut at the end of the season. Josh Jacobs goes down with an injury in the final month of the season, Zamir White lights it up. Your backup running back, Alexander Madison, just had a career worst season in his first year as a starting running back with the Minnesota Vikings. So I'm hopeful and confident for Zamir White. I think Alexander Madison is more of a backup running back, more of a complimentary running back in the backup spot. Uh, but Dylan Labe is what we've seen in OTAs. If we've seen it, we've seen on the college tape. If this translates immediately to the NFL, you will definitely be seeing him getting some snaps. And then finally, we've got a tweet here from Nick Walters from Trevon Morig. We're gonna make. I'm gonna make a video on Trevon probably tomorrow because I think this dude is begging to break out fully this upcoming season. But he said this quote: "We base our success off of our energy when we come into the building. We want to dominate. We want to dictate energy, and it's contagious. What Wilkins brings, energy. You can see it. Very positive and a great motor. 100% flying around every play. Um, if you don't remember, and I will not forget this." A lot of people in the NFL media world, Bleacher Report, Undisputed, you know, TV show talk guys, like stuff like that. Um, a lot of people, in fact, I would say majority of outside Raiders media were saying that the Christian Wilkins move was horrible. They didn't know what the Raiders were doing and that they thought it was a massive overpay. That is about to be completely put to rest probably by the end of week one for the Raiders regular season. That's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Hit that like button, hit that sub button. Let me know which Raider player do you expect to take a huge leap in this upcoming season down below. Peace.